Hey, cartographers, Dr. Jason Van Horn here, trying to build a map as part of the 30-day map challenge in five minutes. This is map 19. So first, got arc map. I need data. So let's go to our catalog. Let me use uh, the Living Atlas here and search for something I'm familiar with, wind turbines. So let's see if I can find that. Okay, that's the one I want. Let's go ahead and add that to my map. And let's see, Esri Landscape is who makes this. Okay, I need to select just Michigan data. So let's see, select no. Uh, go up here. I need to select by attribute. Okay, now I'm going to select by attributes uh, for the state of Michigan. So let's see here, state. And now I need Michigan for MI. There we go. And now I'll get that. So I'll select all Michigan wind turbines. And now I'm going to make a new selection. Uh, so I'll use a selection here and make a new layer from that selection. So there we go. And now I don't need this old layer. So let's remove it so I don't get mixed up. Okay, so now I have wind turbines in Michigan. Now let's zoom to the layer and see what I've got. Okay. I don't really like that uh, color. So maybe I can change the background here. Uh, no, I don't like that base map. I don't like the roads. Let's go with the other dark one. Okay, that looks good. Let's change these green colors to something brighter. Well, that didn't work. So let's go to the symbology itself and change the symbol. So I'll just choose that one. And now we'll do the same color again. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now let's just make the symbol smaller. So instead of 10, let's make it one. So these are individual turbines. Yep, there we go. Okay, that looks good enough. I'm trying to make a five minute map here. Okay, uh, counties, yeah, let's see here. Okay, counties, Michigan. Okay, uh, let's grab that. And I'll add that to my map. Okay. Okay, I think this can work. Let's get rid of that. Let's just have the lines. So let's make this without any color. Okay, okay that looks really good. Let's go ahead and insert uh, the map frame now and uh, make the layout. Okay, map frame, there we go. Let's try and draw it about the whole thing. Okay, that looks okay. I'm gonna change the scale so I can right click here and choose activate. There we go, and now I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and just, that looks pretty good. And I need to turn off the activate. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a rectangle across this whole thing so that I can create the look and feel of the dark kind of uh, focused view for this map. So I right click here and I choose that. Let's make this a, a gradient. So let's make this a gradient fill. And I'll make the first thing black here. Go and now um, I need to make the other one black too. And now I need to change the transparency to 100% uh, uh, see through. So let's make it 100% transparent. 100, there we go. Okay, hurrying through here. All right, let's go ahead and change that to circular. That looks good. Okay, let's make it consistent and continuous. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now I need to add some text. Okay, let's call this maybe wind turbines farm or wind turbines, wind turbine. Uh, okay, well, let's make this uh, white. So we'll go up here to the contextual layer and I'm gonna change this to white here. Yeah, okay, that looks pretty good. Let's just go with wind turbine. It's too big. Big, so let's move this over and then see how this looks. Okay, let's change this to maybe like uh, 70. Oops, not 70. Not, not that, so let's make it 70. All right, okay, that looks pretty good. Let's move that over. Let's go turbines. Nope, let's just go turbines. Okay, oops. Let's get that in centered. Okay, let's go with that and now I'll copy and paste and now I'm gonna make this Michigan's 2023. Yeah, Michigan 2023. And 
Now click off of it and use contextual layer to write adjust. And I'm gonna make it smaller to 140. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Now let's go ahead and adjust this. There we go. All right, now I'm going to go ahead and type in photographer for me. Okay. All right. And let's see here. Let's go ahead and type that one right there. And now let's change the color. Make a white. Okay. Okay, that looks good. Let's go ahead and finish out that. Put my name in here. Okay, now let's go ahead and just add the data source here too. And what was that? It was uh, Esri. Let's, let's just double check and search again for it. Just to make sure we get it right. Okay, Esri Landscape, okay, with the Living Atlas. So let's go ahead and right click and choose Properties. Go back to that and add that in. Okay, now that I've got the data source here, there we go. Now let's just right adjust this one too. There we go, move this over. Okay, that looks good. Now let's get the dynamic credits, the dynamic layer for the service credits for this map, because the base map stuff needs to be included in our map. There we go. And now I'll just open the properties for this and I'm gonna make this really, really tiny. So I usually make it like six point font and I make it uh, as kind of out of the way as possible. So there we go. Make this white. There we go. Okay, that looks good. Now let's move it over. Now let's go. Okay, there it is. Using there we go. All right, let's align it there. Oops. Oops. There we go. Okay, looks good. Let me drag this down a little. There we go. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with that. Now let's add one additional thing, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, let's add another element. So I'm gonna go over here to Adobe Firefly, and I'm gonna type in. Uh, let's see, wind turbine with. Maybe a black background. Let's do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Okay, let's see what we get. Sometimes I use this uh, just to add in little elements here and there uh, for lettering or for other kinds of things uh, related to imagery. I like my Monaco map for this uh, has that. Okay, and. Let's go with this first one. So I'll just download this. Let's go ahead and make a new folder for this day, Map 19. Okay. Photos. All right. All right, now save it. Okay, let me pop back to Arc Map, Arc Pro. There we go. Okay. All right, now let's uh, insert this image and there we go. So I'm going to just make it in the lower left corner. Where is this thing? Okay, here we go, 30 day. All right, here it is. So now I'll just uh, maybe make it, I don't know, uh, not too big. Okay, that's pretty good. Okay, now let's go ahead and make it almost um, transparent. Let's go with maybe like 90% transparent. Okay, let's click here and let's click the 90. Let's see how this looks. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Let's take a look at it and move a little closer. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so now I think we are pretty much ready to go. Let's try and maybe export this thing and share it. Uh, so go to share and now export the map. Let's just export this as a JPEG. Let's rename it. Okay, let's call this map uh, maybe map 19 since this is day 19. This is good. Okay. And let's, let's export. Okay, now let's export the map and then let's take a look at it and see how it looks.
All right, we can view the exported file. Okay, it looks a little dark in the center, so maybe if I extend out my rectangle uh, a little bit, it'll look a little better. Okay, let's pop back over to Arc Pro. Close this out. There we go. Now I can just extend this out a little more, and that way my, my gradient is just extended. I can see a little bit more of the map. Okay. That looks pretty good. It'll just uh, export the palette. So I'll choose export. And let's just call it the same thing and replace it. Export. Yes, replace it. And let's hopefully check it out. All right. And there it is. All right. There we have it. Thanks for watching.